Good afternoon, Durham. I'm Rod Jenkins, Director of the Durham County Department of Public Health, and I'm here with another vaccine update. Today's video will cover our upcoming move to vaccination phase three, updates on our new vaccination sites, and information about an upcoming community discussion. This week, Governor Roy Cooper announced that we will move to vaccination phase three soon. This will begin with all child care and education employees who will be eligible to be vaccinated on February 24th, followed by other frontline essential workers beginning March the 10th. Remember that although we at the county level do not determine these vaccination phases, we do abide by them as outlined by the state. At this time, we are not yet scheduling appointments for educators or any other individuals in phase three. Please do not call our appointment line or sign up for our wait list. We are working to make appointment scheduling available to you as soon as possible, and we will share an update as soon as more information is available. Our appointment line is still closed to all individuals at this time, including phases one and two, as we are still operating with very limited vaccine. The good news is that during this time, our scheduling line has been closed. We have made significant progress on our wait list. This week alone, we began notifying wait list individuals by text and email, in addition to a phone call, in order to help us to review the wait list quickly. By speeding up this process, and removing all individuals who were not eligible or already received vaccines elsewhere, we have been able to reduce our wait list from nearly 11,000 to approximately 3,000 individuals. No vaccines are going to be wasted and we are vaccinating as quickly as we can, even with our limited supply. Some of you who are in phase three but are not educators have asked, why are you not being vaccinated uh, later uh, than this first group? This prioritization follows the governor's recent announcement that all schools are encouraged to offer in-person instruction. Please remember that all prioritization decisions are made at the federal and state level, not by local health departments. Any updates to prioritization are announced by the state health department. You can learn more about each phase by visiting their website at ncdhhs.gov. Finally, there are two updates on new vaccination sites in Durham. First, the bad news. Although the state hoped to open a mass vaccination site here in Durham early this month, limited vaccine supply means that opening a site this size is not possible at this time. The good news is that there are new options for getting your vaccines through Walgreens. Vaccine appointments are available at 11 Walgreens locations here in Durham. These appointments will be scheduled through Walgreens, not by us. So visit the Walgreens website for more information or call them for questions. More information can be found at walgreens.com forward slash COVID vaccine. Moving forward, we will continue to provide vaccinations as quickly and safely as we can. We will work to make sure vaccines and information are shared equitably. We recognize that people of color have received a disproportionately low share of vaccines across the state. Though we are proud to say that here in Durham, these inequities exist at a lower level than the state average, we are constantly working to do more. Next week, we will offer a special panel discussion titled COVID-19 Vaccines in the Black Community to help answer questions and discuss issues affecting the Black community in particular. Our panelists will include myself, our Population Health Director, Marissa Mortaboy, Dr. Julius Wilder of Duke, and Nurse Faye Williams, who was the first person in the triangle to be vaccinated. Visit our Facebook page, or the website shown on the screen to learn more. Stay tuned for future events, including a similar panel dis discussion we plan to host for our Spanish-speaking audiences. We are making progress through our vaccine phases, but uncertainty remains as vaccine supply is still low. 
we realize that some of you are excited and some are frustrated. For those of you still waiting to be vaccinated, we appreciate your patience and understanding. For those who have already been vaccinated here at the health department, we truly appreciate your overwhelmingly kind feedback. Thank you all for working with us as we move through this process together. We can do this, Durham.